Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? It's coming on about midnight here in Southern California. I like to shoot these videos at night because when I walk around at night, I get to thinking about things and that gives me ideas to make these videos. So the videos are about EOS. Like I said, I'm in San Diego. My name is Kent and the channel is EOS San Diego. But what I want to talk about first tonight is I want to talk about blocktivity and EOS being one of the top five, or actually fifth place uh, activity in blockchains right now. So it's a one week, seven days old, and it's already the fifth most active blockchain in the world. So that has happened in seven days, a pretty incredible uh, event to happen so quickly. Also, I noticed that Dan Larimer has three of the top five projects or three of the top five blockchains as far as activities are concerned in the world. So he's pretty much um, he's pretty much dominating blockchain activity, having three of the top five in the world, other two being Bitcoin and Ethereum. So so this is a very, very special project, a very, very, very big idea. And it's starting to come together. It is come together exactly as planned. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a second. But what I really want to talk about first is I want to talk about our challenge dApp that we're creating that hopefully I'll have some more information for you tomorrow. Uh, what the challenge dApp is, it's an application dApp, decentralized application that's going to allow you to create a challenge online. The interactivity with the blockchain, the usability of the blockchain, to be able to do something on the blockchain very easily to create some sort of a challenge for somebody to do something or or some sort of positive, positive way of getting somebody to do something through a challenge and create this on the blockchain and have a reward for that activity. Uh, this is gonna be the usability of the blockchain. The blockchain will be used for everything. More and more of our daily lives are going to be spent using the blockchain. This is why it's so important for EOS to be scalable and this is why it's so important for EOS to be able to be free. These are two very important elements that need to be happened before you can do something like these activities, of which I believe a lot of people are going to be using these activities. They're going to be earning uh, tokens on these activities, and they're going to be able to monetize these activities uh, to, to create an income stream, which is what I want to talk about tonight. I want to talk about the sovereignty of the blockchain. There's two really good videos out there. One is a video of someone, I believe they took some, and I'll put the link below, uh, somebody asked the question about if a government could shut down the blockchain. And he goes through it very, very, very well. He's in England, I believe. I can't remember the name of the channel, but I will put the channel below. I've, I've, I've watched him quite a few times. But he goes through how um, if any one country tried to shut down the blockchain for whatever reason, and of course the, the block producers are, are, are throughout the world, but let's say just they just decided to pick on China. And they said, for whatever reason, we're going to try to shut down EOS. For them to have shut down uh, the three block or four block, however many block producers are in China, I, th I think he said there were three. For them to shut down three of them would would be unable to shut down the blockchain because if you just shut down the ones in China, the other blockchains around the world would start to take over. They would take the place of the ones in China. And not only that, there's backup block producers, which will also take the place of the, of the block producers that go down. So there's really never a way to shut this down. It's really sovereignty. Uh, it's operating in a sovereign environment, a sovereign environment being unable to shut it down by any, 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 any governmental entity by the way this is structured. Very, very, very interesting to have something that's kind of in its own sovereign um, jurisdiction, not having the other jurisdictions uh, over this, this uh, group of block producers that are producing blocks around the world for EOS. That is a valuable, valuable thing. Not only is it valuable, it erases a lot of the burdens and a lot of the problems that governments or other entities that want to intercede have over ideas and the ability to create coins or tokens, the ability to tokenize activities. The, the, the reason this is the, the, such a great idea is because it is a sovereign idea and there's no way to influence that. If you have a, somebody that says we're not going to allow it to happen, 
Well, somebody else is just going to take over those spots of where you try to shut down whatever area you're at. So this is really something that can't be stopped. And it's really an idea that has, uh, has, has, has something that no other, you know, something that is this, uh, this community, this has this broad of reach, this many ideas can be put on it and then have it be this independent. Very, very unique idea. So this is really a sovereign, sovereign idea that has tremendous benefits by being this way, by having the block producers, having block backup block producers, and having the ability to people to be able to interchange with one another if something happens to one of the block producers. I'll put the links to the videos below. Very, very interesting idea. A very, very interesting video about this, and it shows you how sovereign this really is. And the, the reason it's sovereign, it also gives the, it arises to the ability for people to create things on this without having somebody say, oh, you can't do that, or having some, something with all the burdens and all the encumbrances and all the history and all the backgrounds of why you can't do it or why it can't work or any of this other stuff. This, this is a, a way to create new, new ideas, genuine new ideas without any kind of bureaucracy or any kind of regulation or any kind of ability to ask for permission or whatever you want to say. This is a sovereign idea. Very, very interesting. For that reason, that reason alone, this is one of the, the most interesting projects in the world. Not only most interesting projects in the world, one of the most valuable projects in the world. I believe we're right here at the forefront of this. Not many people are getting it. I mean, I, I understand there's some very intelligent people out there. People that watch my channel give me some great comments and give me great ideas. I know they're getting it. But I don't think very many people are getting this. And I don't think very many people understand how valuable this is. And I don't think very many people understand how this is, this is going to be something really, really unique and special. And there's going to be projects on this. And I do believe that a lot of there'll be a lot of incentives to build on this. And there will be a lot of incentives to use it. Like what I'm talking about with the DAP we're building. Uh, and some other DAPs that are being built on this, this platform right now. These are ideas that aren't being regulated. These are ideas that are freely being able to be used. Also, I want to make a reference to, a, um, a um, and I, I put it on yesterday's video, but I want to talk about it a little bit tonight. Dan Larimer made a really good post on governance. I believe it was on Stephen. It's almost like he was uh, talking about uh, this, 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 new, this, this new sovereign nation that's being uh, developed that, that he, you know, he's the idea of it. And I actually think this has been the kind of idea that it's actually taken people that have developed it by surprise. I believe it's even gotten better than what Dan Lammer envisioned. And I think it actually turned out better than what he had hoped. I think it was just one of those ideas. Everything just comes together and it just all works. And it, it really is a good idea. Uh, in fact, a fantastic idea. But anyway, he talks about this and he talks about the different ways that with governments and um, currencies and, and all the different ways that your money is actually not or has been taken or been stolen or they can create fiat currencies and just literally rob you of your money and how the most safe place to have money right now is in a token one of the safest places to have money is a token i believe one of the safest places to have money in the world is in, in the eos token because of the sovereignty of the of the platform and because the creativity of what's going to be created on this and the opportunity to have a, um, an equity interest in everything that's being created on this, an opportunity to have a vested interest in everything that's being created on this, and the ability to be able to vote and have some governance. This is a very sovereign, unique idea. And he talks about this. And I mean, I'm going to put the uh, post below, the link before. I, I encourage everybody to, to, to read that because it's, it's, it's a really good post, very well thought out post. He's, he's talking about how, how incredibly valuable this platform is and how it will see incredible usefulness in the future. It's a cred an incredible utility. So anyway, those two posts will be below. And like I say, I just want to talk you know, about how this is such a great plan, a great idea, and how mo you know, very few people, very, very few, very, very few people get it. I mean, I believe almost nobody at this point gets it. I mean, and that, that's, that's to be understood. It's so new, it's so unique. And, you know, not too many people understand blockchain. Maybe people, if I walked up and down the street, in fact, I thought about doing a video like that when I just walk up down the street and ask people if they've ever heard of EOS or ever heard of, I mean, most people will tell you, yeah, I've heard of Bitcoin. I've heard something about Bitcoin. 
but they don't understand it. They they have some vague understanding of what Bitcoin is. Um, I think one of the funniest ones is my neighbor, not my neighbor, a friend of ours uh, that used to be our neighbor. I asked him about Bitcoin. I said, have you heard about Bitcoin? And he said, yeah, isn't that something where uh, they put uh, some sort of, they have some sort of fun with gold in it? So he literally thought Bitcoin was like some sort of fun, like a, some sort of a, maybe a mutual fund or something like that. And then it was like digitized, but it was backed by gold, which is it's funny, and the guy's actually was actually, uh, uh, a, 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 I think he was a yeah he was a, a, a computer programmer for, uh, uh, oh gosh who made the hard drives, I can't remember who made the hard drives, but he he's he's an intelligent man he's very, and he's and he's uh, uh, he worked for I can't believe wasn't Hewlett Packard I can't believe which one he worked for he worked for one of uh, one of the, the major hard drive companies, so when you look at your computer and you see what the hard drive is whatever company that is that's who he worked for. I can't remember what it is right now, but that's the company he worked for. But intelligent, you know, a, a man that you know knows his way around a program, knows his way around uh, programming languages, and he didn't understand that Bitcoin was what it was. He thought it was some sort of uh, gold back fund. So uh, Western Digital, that was the name of the company. Western Digital. He worked for Western Digital. So anyway, I don't even know if Western Digital still is around anymore, but that's who he worked for. Anyway. Um, Rambling on here a little bit. It's about 11 minutes. So anyway, I'll put those two links to below. I would encourage anybody to, 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 to watch these or everybody should watch these and just understand the sovereignty of what's going on here. The incredible sovereignty and the incredible uh, ability to build something on this thing without having all the burdens of whatever other things take place in this world inside places where that are highly regulated. Just think about it. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.